Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a mid-April reading. We're going to check to see what else is showing up for you this month. Also, I'm going to leave a link up here in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can just go ahead and book your reading from there. This reading is intended for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. Let's jump into your reading and let's see what is coming your way. All right, guys, let us see. I see there's a movement in your heart. Kind of looks like uh, something planted here and blooming, okay? This can be a project or like a, even like a plant. I don't know if you're growing plants can be meaning of that as well. There are two different paths opening outside. One of them has the tears of joy here coming forward. And this is not something planned. This is coming out of nowhere. And the other one I see here, two people are shaking hands. I see one ring and a cup right there. Letter L as in Larry T <coughs> is visible. This can mean the name of the places that you're going to be traveling because there's a path here eventually. And um, it seems like maybe like a business deal because there's a handshake going on. Okay, in the romantic things, usually hugging is uh, seen here. But in this one, I see a handshake. Handshake can mean um, you actually establishing a partnership, finding a new job, maybe even like planning to move somewhere and finding the perfect place for yourself, shaking hands with the, maybe a broker that is arranging the place that you're going to be staying. Can vary, okay? You can actually, um, can even be um, an agreement that you're going to be making with someone, maybe if you're leaving your place and going somewhere else, okay? Maybe you're renting out your space. I see someone here carrying a big pot on their top of their head. They're trying to stand up. This can be a responsibility that you're taking on. Okay, I see here a vehicle with the wheels on the bottom. This can be a new vehicle that you're buying, maybe um, something that you're taking responsibility of. This can be somebody else's maybe vehicle that you're borrowing or a house because i see a roof here too this kind of looks like a mobile house as well and this is happening very soon seems like here i see there is a weird creature looks like a human face with a hat on top but has a turtle's back here turtle usually symbolizes having your own home Okay, and this seems like it is happening very soon. I know this is like a monthly reading and like um, buying a house doesn't really happen in a split second. But if you're on the verge of it or if you're actually humoring the thought, you might see something. But this head is looking backwards. Maybe something you missed in the past or somewhere that you have lived in the past. Something related to the past that you keep looking at. Maybe this is a past place that you sold already or maybe you have bought way back and now um, it is actually left there, okay? Maybe it just needs your attention. Um, I see there is another symbol here. This kind of looks like a person with a cape flowing in the wind and there's looking at this another figure, a human being, this person's legs, instead of the legs, I see this uh, triangle shape here. This kind of reminds me of those, you know, the wall makers they used to use. Now they're using this flat rectangular thing to flatten the concrete. But they used to have this wall makers, the masons, basically. This triangle thing. Um, can be a mason here. We have uh, someone who's actually working in construction. And this person with a cape can be a lawyer actually talking to this person. 
um, maybe trying to understand what they're doing or maybe making a deal with them. This is a lot of like metaphorical things, but can be real things as well. I see about like building something, okay? Like putting one brick on top of each other, on another. Um, I see a number eight. This also looks like B. B can be in someone's first name or the last name. Number eight can indicate um, material satisfaction, okay? So this can be an opportunity coming to you that you'll be able to build something for yourself, okay? The building, because there is actually someone wearing a cape, a legal person involved, it is going to be something legitimate. It is not going to be something random, okay? It is going to be something legitimate. It is going to be your own. This can even be launching a new company if you have an idea, maybe something that requires to be like trademarked or patented, that you're talking to a legal personality, get these things rolling, okay? Getting this thing registered maybe. But I see this is like you are the builder of this thing and you have a tool. This tool is attached to you. So this tool can be your mind, can be your arms, can be your legs, maybe your a designer that you're designing things with your hand you're an architect maybe you're just drawing things um this can be symbolized like that kind of a thing and we are all architects of our own life by the way and this can also be like a metaphorical thing i see a person a male figure kind of looks like uncle sam in a younger way with the massive hat he has mustache and a goatee this person is has a very good aura though it's not like a dark aura and there is actually a totem like a totem is that what it's called t-o-t-e-m um this is not a bad thing it is a good thing it is attached to you even though the face looks kind of scary but this can be some ancestral thing as well that you're getting messages from ancestral when it comes to that it doesn't have to go back to like a six seven eight generations it can be like a one generation past maybe your grandfather has a place that is actually going to be coming down to you um, or maybe the area that your parents used to live. Maybe there is an opportunity there for you. This can be that kind of like multiplied, but ancestral thing, like keep that in your mind. This can be something that is calling you, okay? Maybe a place is calling you. And this is a good omen. And this hat, the person with the hat means authority. That's also another good omen because... This person is there to support you in the legal sense. Whoever is in front of you, they are behind you to give you the advice that you need, even maybe the financial support. And this attached ancestral pattern uh, char character is actually like in a spiritual realm helping you out, okay? And right after that, I see one legal paper and then you're having, like you're running towards something. You're maybe like, there's a roof right there again, uh, running towards something, maybe finding another structure for yourself, or maybe some other thing is happening here. There's going to be a lot of action. The roof is actually looking like letter A here. This can be in the first name or the last name of a person. I see a squirrel holding up this huge, um, I want to say a uh, hazelnut, okay? And the hazelnut is a like, a very good thing for squirrels it's just a score because it is very nutritious for them and it's holding it and looking at it um like it's a holding a treasure okay so this can be you finding out you're jumping up here and like um maybe like jumping with joy can indicate that you're finding out that you're actually holding a treasure in your hand this is a massive treasure that you're going to be benefiting from. And that's why like admiration, some sort of kind of a shock, maybe also a lot of like a joy going to be filling you in. I see here, um, there's another contract showing. Okay, there are two contracts back to back. And this can be some things that are actually going to, you know, give you a lot of joy. And even like I see someone smiling here, leaning on maybe gets you the opportunity to rest finally okay if you're feeling restless you might be actually like coming to a resolution and saying okay now i can rest you know i can relax i see another smiley face here kind of reminds me of i don't know if you guys watched this um i'm gonna say kids movie frozen there was a, a snowman called olaf there very fun guy and uh, also fun and enjoyable character 
and it seems like this person is actually supporting you okay they're having laughing with you um i see number three here this can symbolize a creative activity that you're going to be engaging right afterwards and i also see a massive crowd here forming there's a male figure's name here this can be like a family member an elder that you're following or someone who's like um a guidance for you showing up Mm -hmm. And I also see there's another person here. This looks like this person is wearing a hat, long hair, and holding up um, like a rabbit. Okay, this kind of reminds me from the Alice from the Wonderland. The rabbit has a clock, like showing it. Um, this can be something that you're desiring to have that can actually pause the timeline for you. Okay, maybe you're feeling like the time is going so fast and you're not accomplishing anything. Uh, whatever it is, at the end of the day, you're going to be feeling like the time is actually slowing down and you're doing what you would love to do with your life, okay? Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that one, okay? There's a crescent moon I see here. The crescent moon symbolizes a wish fulfillment, a legal accomplishment. There's a chunk of money in your heart. This can be something that you're manifesting and that is also showing up here. And there's tears of joy and your desire coming really fast. And there are some tears of joy also involved in there. Okay, what do I have here? Hmm. You're gonna start this next couple of weeks with a crowd and there's a letter V it can be in someone's name that is gonna be inside the crowd or this can be something that is going to be fulfilling for you. A victory, maybe. And let me see what else. Um, there's also a full moon illuminating you here, okay? A full moon indicates also like your heart's desire coming in a very illuminated light way. There is a person here. They have a fish in their mind. Fish indicates money. So this person can be someone offering you some sort of money. They're, they're look, letting go of the fish and the fish is touching the full moon here. So this can be an opportunity that you're being actually revealed that you're going to be seeing very soon. I also see here a letter E. It can be in someone's first name or the last name. Double E actually like Helen. Um, What else I have here? There's an angel outside. It kind of looks like an elephant looking like head for head on. This can be um an opportunity of slow growing wealth because elephants take time to grow. However, when they grow, they become majestic, this massive creatures. So this can be uh that something you're going to get the chance to work on. And eventually, it is going to bring you great value into your life, okay? Um, sometimes people ask, like, oh, I want to see things about love. And some people say they don't care about love. So I don't really know what kind of comments to make here. But I see a figure here, a person actually holding up a ring and coming forth. Ring doesn't always mean marriage. Sometimes ring might indicate that this person can have, like, some sort of, like, um commitment desire like they don't want to have like a one-time thing they probably want to have a commitment with you um I'm, let me see if that's not like you what, what you're looking for if you're not looking for commitment or love you can interpret this in the sense of an offer that um will actually be for the long term coming into your life okay it can be a financial offer as well um I see here, okay, there's, I see number nine, but it is reversed. It's like you're seeing it in the mirror. And this is attached to a person here. So this is someone that you're observing their enlightenment. They're actually making deals with some things and maybe even starting a new thing. There is a bird on top of their head. This baby bird can symbolize maybe like a new beginning, the full energy. This person can be a Libra. Um, also, like this 
why are they appearing here probably what they do their decisions their new beginning is going to be affecting you but it seems like here this can be someone leaving your life which is not a bad thing because this can be someone that you already had a relationship with now you're done with them maybe you want to move on with your life now and it's been taking a while because of the circumstances and situations and this person is making a new decision is going to be affecting you in that way that they're going to be moving on and you're going to be moving on with their decision okay to another di di direction I, I wouldn't say dimension but dimension would be better too we have wheel of fortune showing here wheel of fortune actually indicates a timeline coming to an end a new beginning is coming forth and this new beginning can be all all of the above by the way let me tell you what it is uh can be love school relationships friendships and um maybe a job offer money establishing money and creating more wealth in your life and there is all this like whatever the old cycle in your life is closing right now a new beginning is also coming we have here the queen of swords queen of swords is actually the energy of communications you can see the doves like playing on top of her head so this can be someone libra gemini or an aquarius we saw somebody like that in your cup and she's coming forth with communication this woman tend to be a little bit stoic she doesn't let her emotions to control her and she's a decision maker so this can be someone that um, will be making very good decisions and this can also be your energy that you're embodying these characteristics okay being um, you know objective in a situation so you can move forward we have number 15 with the devil card coming forward here you can see this there is actually a shadow of someone locked in chains so this is not the truth this is not the reality i think this is um plato's um cave analogy i think that was plato's that the people that see the shadows in the dark they think that's the reality but the truth is way off from that so there is actually an open door here that you can walk through go to the sky to this beautiful illuminated space that fills with light but if you keep yourself in the shadows, meaning maybe you're thinking about the things in the past and the things that don't serve you anymore, even maybe the people, if you don't let them go, this might actually, you know, mm, slow down your progress that is going to be happening right here in a beautiful way. Another thing I have here is the strength card. So it seems like you're going to actually go through and like uh, be strong and stand your ground and just go through this beautiful pathway and you're gonna leave that what doesn't serve you behind very gracefully seems like and the strength card is actually you can see this little girl this back to back this is leo energy back to back with the sun card taming this lion so whatever that is holding you back you're gonna get the chance to actually tame it and get rid of it and that will bring a lot of optimism and even maybe connect you with your this beautiful future with this wheel of fortune okay the wheel of fortune comes in stages so first you're gonna speak your truth and then you're gonna let go of what doesn't serve you then you're gonna tame the lion within you and then the sun will be shining for you let's see what we have i told you like a uh, love <laughs> let's uh, you know some people are asking for love and we have it here we have the sacred union, partnership, and romance coming forth here. So this can be someone new showing up in your energy. We had number 27. Um, maybe you're forming a partnership, a romantic partnership. Can also be if you don't want romance or partnership or anything like that. Something that rom you're romanticizing, okay? Maybe having a like a corner cafe shop that you want to have a good partner, that you want to run in a, like, in a calm slow pace and it's loving environment you know that can be also like a romantic idea that you have okay the sacred union is all about beautiful true partnership it shows you that spirit is listening and is always by your side helping you co-create your greatest desires and manifest your destiny when you receive this ally know that you're never alone on your path partnership with the divine is yours whenever you need help that's beautiful 
The sacred union also represents the coming together of all kinds of harmonious alliances, friendships, family, family business, and of course, romance. No matter what the form, this message pertains to the value of partnership and reminds you to observe the gifts bestowed on, upon you by the sacred union. This is a very positive omen. Beautiful. I love that. I'm going to pull a final card. This is from um, Esther Hicks. Ask and it's given. This is like a final message to see what's happening with your manifestations. What's the message coming forward for you? Okay. A consistent formula gives me consistent results. Like learning to understand the basics of mathematics and then having the successful experience of understanding results of their applications. Once you have a formula for understanding your world that is always consistent, it will yield consistent results to you. This is actually, she usually focuses on the thought patterns, the way we think things and think them into reality and feel them into reality. So when you have a consistent pattern of getting things that you want, um, that applies to everything, to romance, to love, money. Maybe you're so good at relationships, but you're not good at money. But it's actually the same thing that you need to just copy and paste it to the same you know, equation. That's probably this message is telling you. And I hope this resonates with you and you can actually apply it to the other things that you're desiring to have in your life. Okay. All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.